so that's the house. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. What's behind me? You might be like, where are you now? Well, um, I'm at an abandoned house that's pretty much a little bit of a collector and a hoarding situation. And uh, this house, all I know about it is we came up upon it. There's cars everywhere out front. Uh, so I'm going to try and get you a shot. The power's still on and there's running water. This place was built in 1806 and it lo almost looks like it's been, been abandoned ever since. There's so much stuff in this yard. There's a collection of bikes, there's a collection of cars over there. There's gardening stuff over there. And I'm sitting on some logs that might give way in any second. But enough talking. <laughs> Let's get to exploring and I'll see you on the inside. I don't know which way I'm gonna go. Maybe through here? This is kind of crazy. Guys, look at this. All right, I know you've seen hoarders' houses, collectors' houses. Well, this is a little bit of both. And I wanted to bring you along to show you this. This is just, this blows my mind at how much stuff is just left behind here. And we really haven't even gone up to the house. So this property is pretty big. And as you can probably hear, this car is going by way off in the distance right there. So, I mean, it's fairly near our main road. I'm just kind of showing you what's on the property before I even make my way over to the house, which is beyond the dilapidated shed. So, but wow, just wow. Like right here, for instance, check that out. I mean, it's all rusted out, but there's a collection of bikes and that's just like, I think one of the first collection of bikes that I saw, there actually might be more. So, but yeah, look at this. All these bikes right here. Wow. <laughs> See, the house is right up there. And basically, from here, I mean, all the way out over there, up to that house, it's just like, I'm just going to say, it's, a, it's like a sea of shit. Like, look at this scene right here. This to me just looks like you're in a junkyard. This person was, I mean, this is in no means a junkyard. This is someone's residence. It's a lot, right? Hey, what's up? This is a lot. This is a lot. We're just here <laughs> exploring this craziness. I mean, what is that right there? Just car parts? Wait, there's a car up here? <clears throat> I don't know if you can get a shot. That's inside this place. In the shed anyways, there's just a lot of stuff. And there's an old Volvo sitting right there. That's crazy. That's just one of the cars that's on the property. There's a lot of cars out front. I might not be able to show you all the cars from back here because there's like another road out there. So, but look at this. This would have been the shed 
that you walked into and I mean and it's filled so I'm not sure if this was a fire damage or weather damage just from being left here but yeah this is insane they must have been into gardening at one point this looks like a what's left of some sort of a garden area I mean there's actually stuff still growing in these pots I mean a lot of weeds now but you can tell this was like the garden area there's an old stove out here with like an actual tea kettle or something I mean have you ever seen a yard like this I mean, this is not a business. This is not a junkyard. This is an actual residence. So I believe this is a combination of hoarding and collecting. I'm not sure why it's just all been left here for years. I mean, years. Look at the stove. Is it a stove? I think it is. It's an old. Look at this. So it's an old federal. Look at that. Pretty cool. So this is just part of the destruction that's out in front of this house. And um, the water's running. And I know a lot of people you say, oh, well, somebody must be paying for it. I'm not quite sure. I think this may be an oversight. Maybe somebody died. I'm not, I'm not sure. But either way, it looks like there's power on, the water's running, and we're gonna just go check it out. All right, before I go in, there's entry right there. I just wanted to show you, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of the random things that are on the outside. That's kind of crazy. Look, like all these little toys in a jar. It's just a bunch of little toys in a jar. This is just uh, first getting in here. And as you can see, the light is on, which is kind of crazy. Kind of bizarre. That light might be left on 24 seven for security. I'm guessing. Can't really see someone watching over this place, but you, you never know. Microwave, see that? Has power. Oh my god. Oh. This place has power. It's this, yeah, this food. Look at the, oh, it stinks. The microwave's on too. But as you can see, there's no one's eating this food. This has just been in here forever, obviously. Nastiness in the fridge. Look at that. It's a big block of ice. That's insane. All right, so came in that way. Lights on, refrigerator full of nasty food. House is built in the 1800s. I have no idea why it's in this uh, condition. What do you think? Someone probably died. That's the only thing I can kind of get. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. You literally can't even get in here. Did you try and get in here? It looks like there's another door. But this is, um, like I said, I think this is a hoarding situation. It looks like there's vials of blood right there. I honestly can't figure out a way to get over there. So I'm just going to go upstairs. This floor kind of feels, it feels like the house is leaning to the right. <clears throat> it's kind of leaning. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's leaning to the right. So guys, I'm just going to I'm going to go to the right. And to the right is the bathroom. Um oh Yeah, right over behind the tub. So careful, I don't know what you're stepping on. All right. So there's a bathroom as you can see, it's an old 
ball and claw design tub, which we all love. And over here in this room, I'm guessing it was a bedroom at one time, but it looks like it's filled with just like a bunch of chairs and bed frames and stuff. But this is so cool, it's vintage. I mean, it's old. So this is just kind of showing you around the upstairs and this is the room next to that bathroom. Look at this crazy art piece right here. <laughs> it's pretty interesting, see that? Wow, this whole house is leaning. So it seems like this whole house is just leaning. Kind of pretty. Everything has been left behind. Look at this old roll top desk. Look at that old desk. My grandfather used to have a desk like that. Let's see what else is back here. Wow. <laughs> So this is what I'm looking at. There's a um, little form right there for maybe some dressmaking, maybe someone is a sewer. A lot of old buttons right there. Pretty neat to see. Look at all this stuff, some old machines. Black and back there. All right, so past that room with the form is this one. Looks like another bedroom. There's a fireplace right here. Fireplace, this awesome looking mantle. An old Coke bottle from 1991. It says right on there. Yeah. There's so many like antiques in here. Yeah, that's really cool. Guys, this is a four poster bed. Look at that. It's obviously covered with all kinds of stuff. You can literally see what the wallpaper used to look like. It kind of had that diamond pattern. Oh, oh wow, look at all these letters. Let's see if I can get, oh, 1951. 1951 july of 51. look at all these letters they're all saved oh, it's a shame that someone doesn't have these look at these curtains the lace is so fine it's like almost gonna fall apart oh wow <laughs> this is beautiful. Insane. Guys, sorry about that. <laughs> you can have me step. I just broke. These are really, really precious. Look at that. And the note that was, it was in this box right here. And there's a note that says, they're either from China or Tokyo by Uncle Frank Williams. See if there's a year on them. I don't know, guys, can you read that? It says dyed by tied knots to get these images. What do you think? I don't know. If they can make these uh, drawings just from tying some knots, then. I don't know. Look at that. That's a uh, pretty elaborate. And this was in the that was in the box. A little note. It's kind of crazy. So they may have collected Asian arts as well. There's so many. Look at this fan. And it's not like your cheesy paper one. 
through this window. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's wood. This fan is made out of wood. And there's like a whole bunch of them. Look at this one. I'm gonna have to wash my hands really well. Oh, look at that. I've never seen a fan shape like that one. Look at that. That's interesting. Oh. Here we go. Really cool. And this is old. God, I wish this was in better shape. This right here is an antique. The bottom of that is made out of wood. This most likely is, is silk. And this is an original Asian shoe. Look at this. It's tiny. It's beautiful. Over here. Hey. <laughs> Look at this. But everything has been left behind. You have a pitcher right there. Like an old pouring pitcher to pour some water in to wash up before you go to bed. An old vintage mirror. Um, this place has been sitting abandoned for years. I've passed it uh, quite a few times. I've forgotten all about it. And here I am again. Look at that. This is some jewelry. This is insane. Did you see the um the the coat in here? The what? The military style, yeah. the old like jacket or crazy. Look, I thought it was military too. It kinda looks like military. I thought it was military. And if it is, like this thing, this place. That looks is... familiar, like is is like English or British or something? I don't know. Guys, what do you, you know? No, 1806. 1806. Yeah, 1806 this place was built. Oh, well, this place is... This is wow. old. I mean, this is old. It feels really heavy. Guys, this may be a vintage piece of lost history right here. This may be a lost um, military uniform. Oh, my God. Way cool. It's... Uh, this is a, like a jean material, like a denim, a heavy denim, really thick. Look at that. Okay. Whoa, we are walking on it. Come All right, let me come downstairs. So apparently I hear the room that we were just standing in is ready to collapse. Let me get my drone that I just happened to leave over here. <laughs> let me bring that. This place is insane. All kinds of vintage pieces. So yeah, like the house, as I was saying, it's built in 1806. And it really doesn't look like there's been a lot of modifications done since. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, man, these stairs are so sketchy. Wait till you... I want to see a reaction. So where... Oh, oh! Look at that ceiling. Let me put this down. Whoa! Is that the, is that the That's ceiling... That's and we were, we were just, just in this room up above there. Look at that. The ceiling has literally got this this concave bow. But this is the room downstairs. I think these people that were here were hoarders. Or also collectors as well. Or maybe they were collectors and it turned into a hoarding situation. I'm not sure how it works or what sets it off, <laughs> but I think they were a hoarder. There's some really cool pieces here. Look at that. I mean, what is that? Yeah. 
This is crazy. Can you get over to that room over there? Or is that somewhere where we were and I just can't recognize it from here? I, um, I'm gonna try. That might have been one, one of the ways we came in. But. All right. All right, so back downstairs. And as you can see, the ceiling from up above is the room we were just in. But okay, this is the other side that I was trying to show you when I first came in. There's vials right there. So I'm on the other side of this room. So I'm just going to see what's in here. It looks like a lot of collectibles. I mean, magazines, albums. Wow, I don't, I don't know where to begin. All right, February of 1991 is the date on that calendar. Let's see what's here. Um, the reason that I do think that this was a hoarding situation and not necessarily strictly a storage situation is there's a path. There's a clear defined path of walking that goes from here over to here right over to here to the right and out there's an actual there's an actual path so whoever lived here would walk through here to get through and walk through this path over here and either out that way or right on out that way incredible Okay, so <laughs> magazines, they never threw a magazine away, is what it looks like, ever. There's just magazine after magazine, and what I thought was vials of blood is not. I picked it up and brought it over here, and we're going to just uh, see what's in these vials. Yeah, so there's just magazines absolutely everywhere. Ugh. Spools of thread in this one. Hmm. They use these old cigar tubes for sewing materials. It's a pencil. It's just a pencil. I'm actually trying to make my way over to the, that cabinet right there underneath the TV just to see what they kept over there. So I'll meet you over there. It's all old spices. See that? Some china, lychee, black tea, some old vintage spices. So that's what that was. <laughs> I basically had to climb. I'm standing on a big old pile of magazines right now. There's boxes absolutely everywhere. Look at this drawer of old vintage medicines. Look at that. And pills. Look. Wow. What is this? Something called Iodex. Never heard of that. Powder. 
interesting. I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm just opening these drawers and stuff. And <laughs> what is that? Best six cord spool cut. Wow, look at this drawer. <laughs> Obviously, animals have made their home now, but what a lot of interesting things. So somebody obviously was a sewer or a dressmaker. So this house definitely was, it's just, it's just an interesting spot. Um, I'm trying to get as close to the outside or, or the outside, I'm outside, hi. <laughs> trying to get as close to the front of the house to show you some of these cars. I mean, there's a camper right out here on this side. Oh, look, the kid's desk. Wow. So in the fire, there must have been a collapse. So that side of the house is all collapsed. I can't even believe we were walking around in there. And over here, when I said I, it looks like he was a collector, it looks like there's another Volvo Right in this section right here. See? Another Volvo right there. And there's another building over here. Some more bikes. So they collected bikes, Volvos, and they were a dressmaker. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my God. It just keeps going. There's more vehicles and stuff. There's more vehicles. See that? Look at this. This place is so cool. It's a lot of vintage pieces. Um, glad you got to come along and rummage around a little bit. This is kind of fun. Um, this house just sits here. No one's coming back here. And I'll see you in the next one.